September means two things, state, fair. One of our favorite times of year when the food is fried, the weather's changing. But on a serious note here, you know, the fairgrounds can be a dangerous place if the right regulations aren't put in place, your family doesn't take the proper precautions. So here with us this morning to talk about everything you need to know is the Oklahoma Labor Commissioner, Melissa Houston. Thank yes. you for, for joining us this morning. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Yes. And I feel like I always get the honor of talking to you about state fair and I feel like you're always excited. Yes. But it must be one of the craziest times of year for you. It is. Yeah. September really ramps up fair season. I mean, we start kind of our amusement ride safety awareness in May mm -hmm. with the starting of the summer. And then again in the fall, we really have another emphasis on ride safety with all the fairs across the state of Oklahoma. And of course, the great state fair of Oklahoma opening this Thursday. Yeah, we are so excited for it. And we even had Sky 5 this morning flying over the, the Ferris wheel. It looks like it's being put up. Yes. But how, you know, how fast is the, you know, the state fair put up? It's just a matter of a few days, right? It is a matter of a few days. And I think it's, it's important for your viewers to understand that the Department of Labor, well, first of all, Oklahoma is one of only 30 states that even regulates amusement rides. So there are a small number of states uh, that do that. Some states simply require an insurance policy. Some states require a third party inspector to submit a report. Oklahoma does all that and we have state employed inspectors who are on scene. So for the state fair specifically, our inspectors were out there this weekend mm -hmm. as the rides started rolling up on the trucks. Okay. Uh, and they were there for the unpacking of the rides. They were there as the rides are being put together. So they're inspecting, you know, every bolt and cable and restraint system and pretty hands on and absolutely. And they will remain on site throughout the entirety of the fair. OK, and when you say we're only one of 30 states that regulates, you know, the fair and these rides, what exactly does that checklist look like? You know, say they're putting up a roller coaster or, or this Ferris wheel. Take us through the steps of what has to be in place before people are able to hop on. Well, there are um, a number of regulations at the state level, but it really starts with what is the ride designed to do? And so those guidelines come from the ride manufacturer. So each uh, ride that is manufactured has a set of operating guidelines that goes with it and schematics that go with it. And so our inspectors are familiar with those as are the um, operators and owners of the ride. So we are there making sure that the ride is in compliance with the manufacturer's guidelines. So for example, you don't want to ride, uh, like we had an issue with a water slide that was designed to have a body go down it, but not a raft go down it. Well, if the ride's not designed to handle that, it changes the design of the ride and it changes the safety. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure those rides are compatible with what the manufacturer, the ride was manufactured to do. From there, we also want to make sure that the training records are in place, that the operators have the appropriate level of training um, and any inspections that have taken place from third parties is something we review as well. OK, and as your role as the labor commissioner, you know, I envision you in like a hard hat out there, you know, with each of these rides, checking them yourself. But is that the case? You know, or, and if not, what is your exact role in overseeing that everything is running as it should? Well, I would like to say that <laughs> no, my, it, my vision is wrong. You, you don't have to uh, be <laughs> concerned about me out there, you know, climbing the Ferris wheel uh -huh. to, to make sure the ride is safe. We actually have uh, ride inspectors that are NARSO certified inspectors, which doesn't mean anything, but it's a, to your viewers, but it, it is a very high level of training. Um, in fact, to be a NARSO level three inspector, you have to have been a ride inspector for 10 years before you can even sit for the test. So we have a cadre of inspectors that are really good at this, that are really well trained at it. So it's not me uh, out there uh, climbing the rides, but those guys do climb the rides. As far as my role, you know, again, as the mom of a sixth and seventh grade boy. Who love um, the state fair. They love the uh -huh. state fair. We were at the Cleveland County Fair this past weekend. Uh, our oldest was riding every ride, I think, that was there <laughs> that he could fit on because uh, he's a little tall, so he can't do the kitty rides. I have rides. the same problem. <laughs> so I feel his pain. Yes. He was on all those. But so for me, coming in and trying to learn what is the current state of amusement ride safety and was this an area that needed to be dere deregulated? And what I found when I started visiting with all the owners is they actually welcomed the state level inspection because it gave them kind of a second set of eyes mm -hmm. uh, to double check what was going on. And so we've just redone our entire ride safety program. We've updated all of our rules and really it is a partnership with the owners and with the operators of the rides and the Department of Labor. And I, I feel that Oklahoma 
especially now with the revamp, has become a model for the rest of the country. It's an issue nationally. Uh, the federal level, they're looking at whether to do federal regulations, but I think those regulations are best at the local level where we can sit across the table from the owners and the sure. operators and be on site. And a partnership just with, you know, parents and the people out there. You're your best self-advocate. You know, if you see something, say something. If something doesn't seem safe, don't get on it. What's your biggest piece of advice to families, maybe parents who are sending their kids out, you know, to go enjoy it on their own? Well, the biggest piece of advice I would have is to obey the ride restrictions. Many parents think the uh, you must be this high to ride is a test of maturity and it's really not. It's actually an engineering schematic based on the inches of the child. So it's an engineering schematic for the restraint system. So parents need to not encourage little Johnny to stand up on his tippy toes and say yes he's tall enough to ride mm -hmm. because the restraint system won't work properly. So it is a partnership with, with parents, with owners, with the Department of Labor. And if they see anything, they should, they should be looking for our inspection tags. Each of the rides will have what looks like a license plate with this year's date on it. They should see that. Um, but if anything is an issue, Department of Labor will be on site throughout the entirety of the fair. And they're more, more than welcome to give us a call and we'll check it out. Okay, good to know. And we're going to keep you around for one more segment. Sure. We had some viewer questions about the State Fair this year, if you don't mind sticking around for a little bit longer. Let's